Okay, it's Wayne Smith. I'm back again. I'm uh, going to give you a new scenario on a car. This is a car that they've lost the keys on. It's stuck in gear. It won't roll, whatever the situation is. And, and they can come in many different formats, but the point is the car doesn't roll. So what we want to do is do what we call a skating technique, which is to bring the car on and bring the car off. So I want you to be able to see this, um, and we're going to execute it here. And hopefully it gives you an insight on how to work with these um, and gives you a little bit more confidence when you're out there on the side of the road. So I've taken the liberty to go ahead and roll the rollback back because this does take a little longer to load and I just don't want to spend all our time rolling the bed back. So when you go to put these skates in here, usually the car will rock back and forth. And what you want to try to do is to, as you're rocking this, is to shove the skate as far back under there as you can. Now you can get yourself a hammer if you want to and beat it back under there. But I found that as long as I'm rocking it back as far as it'll go, it's usually sufficient enough to get it on the, on the bed and off the bed. So we're gonna go around here to the other side, put our other skate in here. Make sure we're back as far as we can go. Yeah. Toss our chain back over here. We'll go ahead and get down here and hook at our normal hook points. And again, if, just to reiterate, there are apps out there that can show you hook points on different cars. Because for me to try to tell you, um, best thing I can give you examples to if you can see cars up in the air like at a car repair shop and look at the undercarriage on them. But most of your front wheel drive cars, whether they're American or anything, have, have always got this unibody frame and a unibody frame usually has slots in it that you hook into that's a nice strong spot to pull them on from. Okay. Alright. We got it. Chains in there. Let's get it tight and this time we're sitting here we can't we can't put it in neutral or anything because that's why we're towing it there are no keys there's stuck in gear just like it sounds, just like it sounds yeah so we're going to pull it on here and again the, the, the purpose of the skating is to break the resistance between the tire and the pavement or the tire and the bed. So, I mean, I've gotten out on jobs before and it happens. Somebody took the skates off the truck again and didn't put them back or they left them under the last car they towed or any number of things. And I've actually used a J-chain to break the resistance. Put the J-hook underneath there or just a chain and let the car roll back and come up on it. You need something to break the resistance. Some guys have used uh, Dawn dishwashing liquid. That works like a champ. That works really well getting on and off. And then when it rains, it washes your bed of your truck. So Dawn is a good option. So again, it's just coming up there. We're going to get it up to about... Now, when I'm skating a car on... Um, I will typically not put it as far up on the car as I normally would, or on the bed. The reason being is because it's got to go off and it's going to be hard to get off. So, the less skating that I have to do, the better off I'm going to be. So, we're going to stop right where you are. And we're gonna go ahead and start putting our tie downs on and not pull it as far onto the bed as we actually could. So you wanna stop a little short. You can skate it all the way on. There's no reason why you can't. It's just when it comes to getting off. Again, we're planning ahead for the end, not necessarily the beginning. So you wanna kinda of shorten it up a little bit. Oops, come back here. Yeah, we're working on our four-point tie down here, and uh, nothing's changing there. It's...
And again, I like to lighten up the back of the bed a little bit so I'm not grinding on it. I haven't talked about that before, but that's something that I just automatically do. Um, you know, it's all about making equipment last as long as possible. So I like to try to take as many steps as I can because the more toes that I can get out of a piece of equipment, then the more just makes it last longer and we don't have the capital investment. So anything at all that we can do to improve that is, to me, better. And that's part of the reason why I'm making these videos is that the biggest investment and the best investment is our people. And the more training that we can provide you, that's the best investment we can make is not only in our equipment, but in our people. So the more training we can send you to, the better off I think you'll be and have more confidence in what you do. These videos are just kind of a beginning. If you truly want to make this your career, and I hope you do, I enjoy it, I love it. Um, to me, it's just fun. I, they pay me to do something that I just love to do, which is really cool that I get to do stuff every day that I would do for free just because I enjoy doing it. And I enjoy teaching people, and that's why I'm doing these videos. There we go. One more to go. I'm going to go ahead and tilt this down. And again, remember, don't bang the bed. It, to me, it makes you look less of a professional. You can do it. Uh, just bring it down nice and easy and then roll the bed forward. There's that one. We'll put our last strap on. It almost seems a little bit awkward putting them in short because you're used to doing them dead in the middle. But uh, it's the best way to go about doing this because when I get to the drop-off point, it'll just take, take less time to get it off the bed because I won't have as far to skate. Okay, we're all in there. And we're all four-point tie-downs done, so we are ready to go move this thing to where we need to so they can get it fixed for this fella. All right, all right, so last but not least, you will flip your PTO off and then we're ready to go. Always make certain you turn that off, okay? Um, we're going to go get this to where we need to go and then we're going to offload it and show you how to offload a car with skates.